Hello everyone. Today I will be discussing on the synthesis of halothene. So the synthesis proceeds from trichloroethylene as a starting material this is trichloroethylene which will undergo addition reaction in the presence of hcl so as we know, when addition reaction is going to happen, the specially occurs across the double bond. So you are going to get Cl right. So this is your HCl molecule which has been added across the double bond. So an unsaturated compound has been converted into a saturated compound called as tetrachloroethane. Okay. Now this tetrachloroethane will undergo further reaction with hydrofluoric acid HF. So here there are halogens which are attached with the carbon atom. You know, halogens are very good leaving groups. They can leave the reaction very easily with a negative charge. Why? Because if you compare the electronegativity between carbon and chlorine, definitely chlorine will have more electronegativity. So if you break the bond between carbon and chlorine, the electrons will migrate towards chlorine atom and negative charge will be generated. Therefore, what happens to this carbon here? It becomes electron deficient. So similarly, this hydrofluoric acid will dissociate into H plus and F minus. And moreover, I'm using three molecules of HF. Okay, so this F minus is going to bind or going to form a bond with the chlorine carbon atom here. Okay, at the same time, three molecules of HCl will be liberated as a byproduct. So you're going to get a product in this way. So the chlorine atoms will be replaced with fluorine here. Rest of the structure is same. Okay. So this is two chloro, one comma, one comma, one trifluoroethane, which will undergo bromination reaction. Okay, so this H hydrogen combines with one bromine atom to liberate HBr. So you will get the carbon atom with three fluorine atoms followed by okay so bromine has been added because this is br2 so one bromine atom has been combined with h hydrogen to form hydrogen bromide another bromine atom combines with this carbon atom to get halothane so very simple synthesis, trichloroethylene undergoes addition reaction in the presence of HCl. So addition reactions usually takes place across the double bond. So an unsaturated compound will be converted into saturated compound known as tetrachloroethane. As chlorine atoms are good leaving groups, they can break the bond between carbon and chlorine due to the electronegativity difference.
Okay, so a carbocation can be generated and thus positive charge can be nullified by using three molecules of HF hydrofluoric acid. Okay, so here all the chlorine atoms, all the three chlorine atoms combines with three hydrogen to form three molecules of HCl as a byproduct. So the rest of the three fluorine atoms will attach to the positively charged carbon. Okay, so simply replacement of chlorine with fluorine has took place to generate two chloro one comma one comma one trifluoroethane, which undergoes subsequent bromination reaction to generate halothane, where one of the hydrogen atom combines with one bromine to form HBr as a byproduct, and you are going to get halothane as the main product here. And usually this halothane can be used as inhalational general anesthetic. Okay, and you know the mechanism of this halothane very well. So halothane is going to activate your GABA-A receptors and it is also going to inhibit the voltage gated sodium channels and moreover, it is an NMDA, N-methyl D-aspartate receptor antagonist. So ultimately, the sensation of pain and the neuronal firing can be decreased by using this halothane, which is an inhalational general anesthetic. Okay, and do remember, this halothane is non-irritant, non-inflammable, and volatile liquid. Okay, and uh, it may cause bronchodilation, which is more preferable in asthma patients also. And this is the only halogenated general anesthetic, which contains a bromine atom. Because if you take other inhalational anesthetics like N-fluorine, sevofluorine, methoxyfluorine, okay, isofluorine or desfluorine, whatever the inhalation anesthetic you select, they don't have any bromine atom except halothane. So these exceptional cases are very, very important for the competitive examinations also. Okay, so halothane is the only inhalational general anesthetic which have a bromine atom. Remember this point. Okay, and this is about the synthesis of halothane. Thank you.